You don't have the choice of sitting out this election because if Kamala Harris gets four more years, the radical left is not going to leave Christians alone. It's going to get worse and worse, and you're going to suffer greatly. They will come after Christians all over the country. Kamala Harris has vowed to abolish the filibuster, letting her pack the Supreme Court. And I even heard as many as 25 justices. The Supreme Court with Marxist radicals, with people that we don't want on the Supreme Court to rewrite the Constitution and to overrule your values. I think one of the greatest things I've done is the Supreme Court and also getting over 300 judges appointed throughout our land that have made a tremendous difference. Those 300 judges have made a tremendous difference. She'll flood our country with tens of millions more illegal aliens and make them all citizens, canceling out your voting power forever. Kamala will mandate that every public school in America must promote the idea that children can change their genders, allow men into girls' locker room, and also allow men to play in women's sports. Can you imagine that? Men and women's sports. And it's such a strong movement by, I believe, really a very, very small group of people. Because, you know, it's interesting. I haven't met one person that thinks that's a good idea. And yet it's like a movement. But I've never met anybody. Now, I don't know everybody. But I haven't met anybody that wants it. And even the young ladies that are afraid of what's happening. You saw the other day the volleyball player who was hit very hard on the head by a ball, a smash that, uh, in fact, I saw this person, a person who transitioned, hit the ball. I mean, that ball was moving as fast as a ball can move. And she said, I've never seen anything like it. Really whacked her. But some people were put out of commission just in volleyball, let alone other sports. But when you look, look at weightlifting, how about that one? Or you look at swimming records, track records, it's just... It's so demeaning to women. It's so ridiculous. It's so demeaning. But Kamala will force doctors and parents to allow sex changes and genital mutilation of minor children. That's what they do. She has it literally where sex change operations for people in detention. When they were being held in detention, if they wanted a sex change operation, she said, yes, I approve it. I mean, who would do this? Who would do this? And you know, I'm talking about everything else, but I'm also talking, it's an extremely um, difficult operation and a very expensive operation. Uh, but who would, who would do this and who would want this? And between that, she, she was the head of the movement, defund the police. You have to understand, she's a radical left Marxist, and a lot of people want to know, what does that mean? She's a person so far left, like nobody's seen in the Senate in many, many years. But the main thing is, she's not a very bright person either. That's a dangerous, that's a really dangerous combination. Your religious liberty will be gone. Your free speech will be gone. Your Second Amendment will be gone. And parental rights will be gone forever. So I'm here tonight to deliver a simple message to Christians across America. It's time to stand up and save your country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. On November 5th, Christian voters need to turn out in the largest numbers ever. Do you know that if you did that, because you have a reputation of not voting proportionately like you should, you do know that. I think that maybe is a form of rebellion. Could that be possible? You know the two groups? Not to equate them, but uh, they are probably associated in some form. But Christians, evangelicals, but Christians and gun owners. Gun owners don't vote. 
they vote, but very small proportions. If they did, or if Christians did, nobody could ever beat us. Nobody. So I hope that we're going to get numbers like we haven't seen. You remember, this is your last day. Today is your last day of registration. You have to remember that. And so if you want to leave right now, go and leave. I won't be insulted. <laughs> leave right now and go and register. But this is your last day. So we need to tell Kamala Harris that we've had enough. Kamala, you've been the worst vice president. You're, you're a member of the worst administration in the history of our country. The happiest person around is Jimmy Carter because Jimmy Carter is considered a brilliant president by comparison to crooked Joe Biden. Jimmy Carter is brilliant. It's, his administration will go down as a brilliant administration compared to crooked Joe. But we're going to say, Kamala, you've done a horrible job. You're a horrible vice president. There's no way you're going to be our president. Kamala, you're fired. Get out, 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 out.